Hi guys, I'm Antonino Loré, lead designer at Aston Martin. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to sketch a Valkyrie. If you're ready, let's get started. Usually when you begin a car sketch, you start by placing the wheels. But here, I'm going to explain first how the project started. When you think about what is the most optimum aero shape, you think about a teardrop. We knew from the start that this car would be capable of unreal performance thanks to its aerodynamics. So the initial idea was to design something closer to a spaceship. If you intersect the teardrop with a discus, you get a UFO. Now we can start by placing the wheelbase. A good way to do this is to draw the wheels at either end of the teardrop. It doesn't need to be 100% accurate. The important thing in this kind of sketch is the expression. These generous arches accentuate the character of the car and also connect the saucer to the road. You notice that usually you have a well-balanced sketch when you have more mass above the rear. The cabin is designed to be sleek, the windscreen is really wrapped around here and helps the airflow around the cabin. The front wing comes directly from Formula 1. It's amazing when you see that on the car. The rear wing is extreme as well. And you notice this angle here at the back is really important because you have a lot of speed lines and this one marks stop. It's really important for the attitude. It gives the impression the car is going forward, ready to go. Behind the front wheel, you need some cooling. So it's time to place the graphic, really important. We call it the side straight vent, typical to every Aston Martin. In this case, no extra metallic part added on. This would be extra weight. So the discus line comes and shoots into the vent and all together becomes the Aston Martin signature. Down here, all the lower valence is stuffed with a lot of technical carbon parts managing the airflow under the car and on the side of the car. Visually, when the car is in color, you clearly see the breakup between the two universes. All the lower area remains exposed carbon. The discus line is really important as it goes all around the car, gives the attitude to the sketch, but also it separates the two worlds. You have Aston Martin with the beauty, the purity, and the emotional volumes on the top. And beneath that, you got the world of high performance coming from F1, really technical and complex. The world of Red Bull advanced technology. I really enjoyed working on Valkyrie. It's not every day you can have the chance to work on such a once in a lifetime project. What the car represents, the package, the collaboration with Red Bull Advanced Technology and Adrian Yu himself, all this makes it a dream project. This was important for the brand as well as it was the first Aston Martin road car with a rear mid-engine layout. We had to create a form language that is immediately recognizable as an Aston Martin. Even though this car is highly technical, we had to make it beautiful. All this is down to amazing proportion and sensual volumes. This is Aston Martin's DNA. When you see the car for the first time in the flesh, you can't believe how small the car is. It's really low, the arches are really pronounced, there's so much drama. Keeping it pure helped a lot. That's why it's important to understand the power of a first sketch. It's key to define right at the start a simple and strong theme. And if you keep this spirit throughout the development, you end up with an amazing car.